Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director Ultimate. This is a great program. It's very feature packed. It also includes some features you normally don't see in a video editor. Go over here to the capture button in the upper left hand corner. We go to the capture workspace, number of ways to get media into your project. You can record live audio from a microphone or live video through your webcam. You can stream video in through your camcorder. You can rip video from a DVD or a disc. And there's also this button here, which activates a screen recorder. Now the screen recorder is technically a separate program, but it plugs right into the CyberLink Power Director. It comes bundled with it. And it's actually pretty cool. Now there is a professional paid version of this program. And every once in a while you're going to click on a feature. It says it's only available in the paid version, but the free version is also feature pack. Now you can set your screen recorder to record at the original resolution of whatever area you designate, or you can set it up to record at a custom resolution frame rate, 30 frames per second or whatever frame rate you'd prefer. You can set it to record your mouse clicks, your webcam if you want to be in your video, and of course your microphone if you'd like to record a tutorial. Now you can set the screen recorder to record your entire desktop or a custom size. If I click that, you notice that the tool panel is going to minimize momentarily and I get these little pink crosshairs. I don't know if you can see them. And I just drag, click and drag and it sets the area that will be recorded by the screen recorder app. I can also lock to a window. So in other words, if I click on lock to app, I can click on this window and now automatically the recorder is only going to record my web browser here. So I can do a tutorial on moviepix.com. To start recording, I simply click the record button. The tool panel is going to minimize. You see there are a number of shortcuts you can use, but that goes by pretty quickly. So if you get lost, don't panic. The screen recorder panel is down here on the taskbar, and if you click on it, it opens back up again. So we're recording right now. You can see the numbers counting on the time code. Once you start recording, you can temporarily pause your recording and then continue it. Minimized again. We'll bring it back up from the taskbar. We can take a screen capture snapshot and then when we're done recording we just press stop here or F9. This is where it gets a little clunky because once you've recorded it you can edit it but the communication between Power Director and the screen recorder is not real smooth. Uh, ignore this, click OK and let's open our screen recorder back up again. There it is. Now I'll go back to the taskbar and open up Power Director's main workspace. We'll set it over to edit mode. Where's our screen recorder? Bring that back up. See again, a little bit clunky here in the transition from recording to editing. If we click on this button in the upper right hand corner, open library, we can see all the recordings we've made. The most recent will be here in the upper left hand corner, although you can of course filter the uh, listing any way you'd like. But once we select this, we can either right click on it or click on the pencil. And that gives us options for editing. And there is a screen recorder video editor that comes with the paid version. So if you select that, you're going to get that nag screen. But if we click on edit with power director, the clip now jumps up here to our media room and we can drag it down to our timeline and we can actually edit our tutorial. That's pretty cool, huh? Like I say, it's sort of a bonus feature. You don't normally find it in a video editor, but it's here in the feature packed Power Director Ultimate. If you'd like to know more about this program, lots of tips and tricks are available at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about Power Director Ultimate, be sure to check out the moviepix.com guide to Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti, and I hope to see you at MoviePix.